Hello, Dr. Russ here. I'm going to be demonstrating how to use AI to improve something that you've written without compromising or risking plagiarism. Um, so what I'm going to be uh, working with today is an essay that someone wrote for a college application. And I think it's a pretty nice essay. You'll see it here. Um, this is the response to this question asked by the university on the college application. So we'll be using ChatGPT as the generative AI. This is new technology and as faculty, we're all exploring the best way to use it. So this is what I'm suggesting. Um, enter ChatGPT. If you don't have an account, you're going to want to um, set up an account. It's free and it'll be helpful to you. And the prompt that I would like you to use is this one, list suggestions for improving clarity, grammar, and spelling in the paper below. I want you to get this list of us suggestions because if you don't, AI is just gonna rewrite your paper for you and that is what borders on plagiarism. So for these purposes, we're just gonna list it. Um, I'm going to hold the shift key down and paste the paper in here. Um, if you do happen to hit enter prematurely, that's okay because you can just, um, continue to engage with AI, you can go back and forth and it will continue to work with you. So now I've split the screen. I'm going to copy out this response and paste it in. Control C, and here we go. There's the paper. And now let's hit this arrow or hit enter and see what happens. It's always different what happens. So here they've rephrased a lot of things. Let's see what it's continuing to do. Um, all right, they're telling you what suggestions they make and why they make those suggestions. We have a lot of suggestions here. It's interesting because every time I do this demo, I get different kinds of responses and, um, We're always risky because everything they're doing here is suggesting is bordering on plagiarism. So the reason that I'm asking you to do it this way, the way I'm going to demonstrate in a moment once it's done improving this essay, um, is that I need to see that it's not plagiarism. So when you submit your work, you're going to be suggesting, you're going to be including this AI response, and you're going to be including the changes you make using the track changes. So now we're going to copy out everything the AI wrote, and we're going to say no to the fully improved version. So let's go ahead and copy out this response. Control C, I'm going to open up a new Word document and put it over on the side here and paste in that response. And now go ahead and save this document. I'm going to just save as AI response, put it wherever you need it to be. Um, I'm not going to worry about it because I'm not going to keep the document, but that's what you're going to do. And now it's saved. You're going to submit this. So you want to make sure and save this. It's required if you decide to use AI for your uh, grammar checker. So now we have both of these up. Um, let me just reduce the size here so we can see it in full. Okay, so here it is. Let's go back to what they say. Um, so they're suggesting all of these kinds of things. Um, what I think of when asked this question is how to respond without seeming like a self-centered person. That's the original. And this is the rephrasing. Um, when asked this question, I think about how to respond thoughtfully without sounding self-centered. So now you're going to think about this and do you think this is better? And if it is, what you're going to do is this. You're going to go to your editing menu. I'm sorry, you're going to go to your review menu and you're going to click on this tracking button and you're just going to put track changes. All right, because I need to see what it is you're actually doing. So now um, I think when asked this question sounds better than this longer phrase. So all they're saying is let's get rid of this. So let's delete that. I can live with that change. All right, when asked this question. Um, and I like the rest of this too. I think about how to respond. I think I'm gonna say, I don't like that exactly. So I'm gonna write it 
leads me to consider how to respond without sounding like a self-centered person. So you see, I've looked at what they said and I take some of it, I reject some of it. Now, in the first paragraph, um, I think they are, let's see here, body paragraph one. Um, the first, leadership comes naturally to me. And he says, leadership is the first quality and it seems to come naturally to me. Um, first, leadership. I like mine better. I'm not going to take that suggestion. The next one, they say, it seems that when there are group projects in class, I'm the one who brings the group together to actually complete the project before the deadline passes. All right. And they suggest in group projects, I often take the initiative to ensure I like part of this. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to say, I'm going to actually say, for example, in group projects, and I like that word initiative, I am, but I'm going to say I am often the one who takes the initiative. to complete the project before the deadline passes. So this is just a little demonstration of how you can use this AI. You're not doing copy paste, so that's a good thing. You're reading each thing they suggest and then considering it. And then there's some general notes in the end to make it be better. So the things they mostly found were tone and formality, um, using a more professional tone since this is a college application, and then simplify ideas, to avoid parenthetical asides. I might keep the parenthetical asides, you know, um, because they're kind of adding to the humor and the personality in this essay, which I think is what this person was trying to convey. Um, for example, down here, he wrote, um, this leads to another personality trait that will enliven the community, not that it needs enlivening. So I think there's room for improvement. And I also think that there's room for keeping some of what's here in the original. And that's what I want you to be doing when you use generative AI to improve your paper. What you'll submit for my class is this version with attract changes and the AI document here. So I need to see these changes. If you haven't worked with the review menu before, um, I'll return this to you with more comments. And then what you're going to do is um, if if I say, yeah, suggest I like it with all your changes, you know, then you're just going to do this and accept. And you can accept one change at a time or you can accept all the changes in the document. So you'll see these options. You can accept them one at a time or you can accept all of them and stop tracking. And what will happen if you do this is if you accept all changes, you see it just incorporates them into your paper. Um, if you were to reject the changes, let's say I made a suggestion to you in the same way and you don't like my suggestion, you can reject a change too. So now if I didn't like this first one, it's going to start here. Let's go back to the original. Now it's going back to the original. Okay, so we could go down to which one it is. All right, that's the end of this demo. I hope it's helpful and I hope it helps you improve your writing, not just take on AI's writing and let it do the work for you.